Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Baird Fleming, the director of Your Biopark here in Albuquerque. And we've been getting a lot of questions from the public wanting to know what's going on at the biopark right now. So we're here to answer your questions. A lot of people ask, what are the animals doing now? Do they notice that there's no people out there? And I think the answer is absolutely yes. Our animals do seem to kind of miss that interaction that they get on a day to every day with, uh, with the humans that come to visit them. Um, with that in mind, our keepers have kind of really taken it up a notch when it comes to engaging with their animals, making sure there's plenty of enrichment out there for them, and just spending time to, in, to play with them, to engage their minds, to get them to do some of those natural behaviors that they would be doing out in the wild. Um, it's really important to keep our animals engaged and active. And so a lot of times our guests are actually helping us with that, just that. But now we don't have guests, so it all falls on the keepers. So what's going on behind the scenes at the biopark right now? How are the animals doing? Um, our animals are doing great. We are taking the opportunity right now with the fact that there are unfortunately no guests visiting us to go out and, and take care of some of the, the projects that needed to be done in guest areas. Um, we are also taking the opportunity to make sure that we are doing everything we can to engage with the animals um, and keep them happy, healthy, and safe. One of the things we've had to do is we've had to split our keeper teams into two teams. Um, and this is something that many zoos across the country have done. And that is so that if, if somebody from one team becomes ill and we have to quarantine either people from that team or the whole team, we have the ability to then split the other team and create another two teams. So essentially we are absolutely committed to making sure that our animals are getting cared for every day and that that level of care never drops. We always have disease uh, prevention protocols in place. I mean, that's one of the things that we, we always are practicing um, as part of our Association of Zoos and Aquariums accreditation, which is something that is very valuable to us. We make sure that we are not only practicing uh, best practices when it comes to disease prevention and transmission from one animal to the other, but also between animals and humans and vice versa, humans to animals. So all of our staff go through zoonotic training every year. It's part of the accreditation protocol. Um, and we also go through a lot of painstaking uh, practices to make sure that we are trying to keep things as healthy, happy, and safe for the animals and our staff always. So we always make sure that we try to sterilize our hands. Um, we a lot of times have foot baths that have disinfecting uh, solutions in them that we, uh, we have our staff put their feet in before they uh, walk into the animal space. But because of certain things going on right now, we're taking everything to another level. Um, in particular with our mammals, we are asking um, a lot of folks to always wear masks when they're around the animals. Um, we're asking people to wear gloves when they're around the animals. And then when it comes to like primates and stuff, we actually ask uh, for our keepers to maintain that same social distancing that we're all having to maintain with each other with the other primate species that we have in our um, in our biopark so it's really interesting we've come up with some our our uh, our manager of trainer and behavior has has really come up with some amazing opportunities to continue training the primates but at distances um, so maintaining that social distance but making sure that we keep moving forward on our husbandry training, which is vital, especially if one of our animals were to get sick. We wanna be able to communicate with them. We don't want them getting nervous about what we're doing. So making sure that we're still maintaining that training is really, really important. Absolutely. So in the beginning, when this all happened, um, we were really concerned about our primates, our non-human primates. 
as well as our human primates. But um, so we took extra measures to make sure that right from the get go, all of our primate keepers were wearing masks, our, all of our primate keepers were wearing gloves. Um, and I think right now there was, what well, just yesterday, there was a case where one of the tigers at the Bronx Zoo in New York tested positive for COVID. And uh, so what we're doing is we're kind of expanding that protocol to make sure that um, all of our keepers that are managing mammals have masks and gloves on at all times. We're likely going to extend that to also include face shields um, and do what we call dry cleaning. Because a lot of times when we clean uh, back holding areas for animals, um, there's a lot of feces. And so to get that feces up, we use hoses. And of course, if you're using a hose, there's a chance that things might splatter. Um, and we therefore aerosolize them and they're going around in these little water droplets. So by using face shields, by using masks, and by not using water, uh, we're, we're hopefully reducing the risk of that transmission. So we're not actively testing our animals for COVID right now. Uh, to be honest, all of our staff have checked in um, COVID free up till now. We have had a few illnesses here and there, nothing that we wouldn't normally have. Um, and so far our animals have maintained uh, a very healthy um, status. So our, our mantra of healthy, happy, safe has been so far very strong with our animals and only a few staff uh, have not been healthy. Hopefully they've maintained the happy and safe part. Okay, everybody, well, that's it for the question and answer for this time. But um, you know, this has been great. A lot of people have been wanting to know what's been going on behind the scenes at the biopark right now. So please keep your questions coming. We will do our best to answer them.